So what's cracking YouTube? What's up and what's good party people? It's your host with the most Paul Can 2 coming at you guys with a snapbacks pickup video. So essentially in this vid I have over 15 snapbacks to show off, many of which are vintage, only three of which are new. I wish that bus would shut up because it's being extra loud in my intro. But once again, stay tuned. A bunch of dope hats are gonna be showed off in this vid. I've been collecting them for a while, going to thrifts, going to garage sales, acquiring a bunch of dope hats. So without further ado, I'm gonna quit the chit chat and just show you guys what I've caught. Oh, we got the camera in landscape mode though. So the first hat I'm showing off is gonna be one of three of the newer hats I picked up. This actually was a gem of only $10 at Marshalls. And as you can see, it has the rodent of the air, the pigeon of the gulf, the pigeon of any coast, a nice seagull on deck right there with some nice earth tones all up in it by Cole. Corduroy on deck, son. You already know you gotta make it lavish, you gotta make it textured. And then on the back, a nice cold tag, been polluting the earth since 1692. Damn, my hand is shaking like I'm on some other freaking pills. So next on the chopping block, we have this Navajo print quilted freaking buttermilk toe touching snapback. I actually picked this up for $13. It is by Neff black brim black under brim as you can see neff all on the inside and it actually came with the cardboard and i picked it up at a thrift store so overall super sick little steel stay tuned for customization it is coming soon last but certainly my favorite would be the hundreds california culture snapback in the black and white colorway as you can see it has the nice bomb right there on the front of the hat all embroidered in the letters all nice and crispy embroidered in on the back black snaps astrodome turf green under brim looking like a leprechaun in here clean interior and then customize it by shouting out the great city of houston so we got the spruce in texas pin from premier goods this hat was only nine freaking dollars at ross what a steal of a deal been rocking this thing like crazy so now we're getting into the vintage game right here by placing this hesperia fire department gold and navy blue hat on the foliage as you can see it has some nice little leaflets up on the brim adding a nice little accent and touch a gold rope going all the way around trucker hat definitely missing the snaps like an unobservant parent in walmart baby mama missing their child running around all up in the underwear section when you know they're supposed to be in the toy aisle but as you can see right here overall pretty cool hat but I essentially am gonna chop this bad boy up and just use it for its parts, AKA the patch, the nice foliage on the brim and the gold rope. Stay tuned for a customization using these parts. The next vintage snapback we have up would be this grumpy snapback. As you can see, it says grumpy, grumpy, grumpy embroidered in red on an all black hat. We got the midget dwarf on deck draped up and dripped out from the front crown to the brim. As you can see, he's a little bit angry because Dopey didn't share any of the weed with him. But uh, yeah, black snaps on there. And this is by Goofy Hat Co. Still gotta restore this bad boy up to its proper form, but definitely a cool looking hat. Really unique, haven't seen one like this. Staying true to the cartoon theme, we have this spruce green and navy blue Mickey Mouse Club snapback with Mickey embroidered on the front. Two panels of the hat right there. It says Mickey Mouse in a dope little script on the back. Check that thread count. And then you got spruce green on the snaps right there. Once again, we have the leprechaun freaking under brim. This one is a bit dirty. It is by Goofy Hat Co. as well. Overall, got it at a thrift store for like a buck. So the next hat we're getting into would be the Detroit Red Wings Sports Specialties snapback right here with the NHL patch on the side. However, this thing has a curved brim looking like a fruit roll up. This thing is straight fruit by the foot, caught up and rolled up all country boy style. I don't know who did that. Try to restore it. Definitely hasn't worked so far in terms of flattening the brim. Blue sports specialty snaps on the back. Once again, you have that green goblin under brim on the inside. A little bit of uh, sweat stains right there, but I already cleaned this bad boy up and restored its shape. However, this brim is just straight cowboy crucial. America's team is up next. As you can see, we have this Dallas Cowboys with the huge star with the chicken wire fence pattern going through it right there. All navy blue upper. Once again, we got a star on the side. NFL Pro line embroidered on the back. Sports specialties. This hat is definitely repping America's team like a boss. Sports specialty snaps on the back. Once again, we have the Jolly Green Giant under brim and uh, had already outfitted with the cardboard. Keep the pro line tag on the inside one size fits all sports specialties right there as well pick this up actually in a trade for mr customs mr customs on instagram sticking with the dallas cowboys theme next up we have this dallas cowboys blue and gray snapback says dallas with the d-town star right there light gray brim 
again with the light gray under brim. It has this Cowboys big old back lettering starter right there. NFL Pro Line Authentic. Can't argue with the starter cap, the right hat all the time. Next up we have that chameleon switching colors in the light golden brimmed Astro snapback. Straight reminiscent of the Astrodome in the glory days when the Astros actually were relevant and could actually win a few games. And Rumpelstiltskin would be having a heart attack right now seeing this thing because this is straight fire. As you can see, it says gallery furniture saves you dollar 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 signs on the back right there. The only downfall, however, if you guys haven't heard of gallery furniture, Google that because that dude be going ham on those commercials for real. Really clean, never been worn, great shape to it. Overall, super dope vintage snapback. Glad to have it in the collection. Sticking with the Houston theme, we have this Houston Arrows hockey team snapback right there in the spruce and navy colorway. Look at those shark teeth on that thing, looking ferocious. You got this tag over here flopping in the wind, floppier than the damn floppy disk needs to update his system, get a CD. We got the Houston back lettering on the back in the navy blue colorway once again. Old school snaps right there, as you can see, definitely poking out in the wind like somebody's hard nipples in the freaking freezer aisle. Brake check on that bus, and once again, a little bit of dirtiness on the interior sweatband of the snapback. You got green underwear on it. Overall, really sick, really dope. Next up in the dope as hell department, we have this Charlotte Hornets white hard body upper with this nice teal blue brim. Charlotte Hornets, Hornet going ham with the basketball. Definitely crossing over a few boys. Look at that, uh, bounce pass. As you can see, it says Charlotte Hornets right there embroidered on with the trademark. The Charlotte Hornets teal air holes and a teal button up top white snaps on the back restored this bad boy definitely looking mean lean and tough got the nba tag on the inside got a youngin hat right there this hat has a dope shape can't wait to do a fit of the day with this bad boy first vintage charlotte hornets hat in the collection definitely glad to have it super sick super dope now getting into the dead stock department we have the chicago bulls 91 92 3 96 97 98 nba champions hat right there we have the lightning bolts freaking coming down on the crown right there of course it is the dead stock championship locker room hat by starter right there nba logo in the basketball and then furthermore on the back in that gold glistening in the light embroidery we have the starter logo with the star nba logo red white and blue keeping it patriotic nba finals on the strap because this is a velcro strap back and then the trophy with 98 right there encircling it. Got the nine and eight orbiting around that big old gas giant. Gray underbrim says NBA Authentics, the right hat, all that good stuff on the inside. But overall super sick hat, $12 at a thrift store, hella clean. In the dead stock turning lane, we have the Tampa Bay Devil Rays in the teal, lime green, yellow, gold, black, and purple colorway. Look at that, you can't argue the Stingray being a logo for a team. As you can see, once again, it is dead stock genuine merchandise with the MLB logo on it. Boom, Devil Rays logo on the back right above the strap. This is a strap back. Look at that brass plate going all up on it. Purple under brim, and this thing is super dead stock. Even got the cardboard insert on the inside. This hat is by Signatures right there. Genuine merchandise by Signatures. Huh, get at me. Dead stock game, a champion, peep game at the logo, athletic Miami Dolphin snapback with the dolphin with the helmet. Of course, gotta protect that cranium on deck. We have the new school Dolphins baseball script on the front in the white with the orange shadow right there. This nice Miami Dolphin seafoam green teal brim. As you can see, it also has hits on the air holes and on that top button. And this could easily easily not be a carry-on you could check this thing as you can see it has a number of nfl games washed attended it says your name address all that good stuff on there with the logo athletic tag team nfl this is straight holographic shiny sticker look at that thing you can see my face in that the original price point on this bad boy was 20 dollars back in the 90s p rose ballpark cafe Thank you for not selling this so I could get it. Then going furthermore, east coast up north, we have the Baltimore Ravens with the nice crest with the wings coming out, taking off on these guys. Ravens 3D print wave on deck. As you can see, once again, we have the Jolly Green Giant under brim on it. Baltimore in the wavy patterning on the back in gold embroidered letters. Bam, dead stock NFL official licensed product on the side. Underneath it all, we have the shield once again with the wings trademarked right there. 
overall super sick this thing is in pristine dead stock condition with the original cardboard straight out the 90s on the inside boom need i say more atlanta falcons bread colorway vintage snapback with the flannel brim have you guys ever seen this i wish you guys could feel the texture this thing is just out the wazoo crazy on you with the old school falcons logo this almost graffiti like falcons lettering on the front once again team nfl dead stock tag this thing fits like a gym black snaps clean inside of course and co came through with the beast snapback right here and it has the flannel button up top red air holes to cap it all off get at me guys this thing is straight fire and just when you thought things couldn't get any better peep game kids on the spruce pine green snapback we have the kiss my bass snapback right here freshwater sensation swimming at you guys on the hat definitely a dope fit up top fit on it perfect brim curvature perfect snaps green as you can see ending the snapback compilation pickup with a fish snapback can't get any better than that so welcome back to my face hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and enjoyed the clips of the in-depth shots at the snapbacks i eliminated my talking my face a little bit just to give the snapbacks all the glory and honor they deserve but once again if you like this video hit the thumbs up button go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already and leave a comment in the comment section below if you want to work out a trade or sale or if you just want to express which snapback you found to be the most heater of the hats so which one was just blazing the boys like fires up under they ass just go ahead and leave that in the comment section below excuse my french but i'm bilingual and uh once again stay tuned for more videos they are coming soon peace and love i'm out